In today's gospel story, we hear Jesus saying that nothing that goes into a person through the mouth defiles, but it is those things that proceed from the mouth, which in turn proceed from the heart, that defile. But the opposite can be said as well. Nothing that comes into us through our mouths or through our bodies in general are going to glorify and deify and elevate us. But that which comes out of us through our mouths, which in turn is an expression of what's in our heart, can do just that. We see this at play in the second half of the gospel story. It's all about remembrance. In the interaction between Jesus and the Canaanite woman, so many things could have gone wrong, and yet they didn't. Even after he called her a dog, the woman did not respond either by retreating in fear or lashing out in anger, but rather she remembered who she is in God, a beloved child, someone worthy of dignity, someone worthy of having her daughter healed. And she also remembered who Jesus is, the sent one, the Messiah of God. And so she boldly and yet calmly and kindly persists. And Jesus sees also that remembrance of who he is and who this woman standing in front of him is. And so he relents and grants her healing. The call on us is to always remember even in the tensest moments, even in the moments where we as individuals or as communities or as a global society are thoroughly triggered, we must remember, remember who we are in Christ and who everyone else also is in Christ. And from that place of remembrance, we will surely think, say, and do things that rather than defiling us, do exactly the opposite. They elevate us to God and bring us closer to one another.